guys, welcome to another episode of Talk at Moments. My name is Talk at Makingwa. It's another week. The year only started yesterday as far as I'm concerned. And all of a sudden, we've done six months. It's been quite a year, if I may say. Uh, every week, there's something else you hear. But uh, we're still here, which is a good thing. And uh, I'm really excited this week. If this is your very first time of watching my vlog, I'll tell you this. Hi, my name is Toke. I'm a TV series junkie. And I like to share my library with you guys okay i like to share with you guys what i'm watching what i'm reading what i like which is why we created the favorite thing of the week so this week i'm going to be talking about the last ship season three it's back if you haven't watched the last ship i think i've reviewed it before on the vlog i don't know what you're waiting for mcsteamy is in it and um it's about this virus that broke out in, uh, in america the season one and two was about basically trying to curb the virus, trying to find a cure. When there is a cure, you know that you have sudden enemies, right? People from different camps and territories want the cure, want the scientists. And season two ended in a very, very tragic way. Like, I was really sad. Happy and sad, kind of. So season three starts and I didn't even know. They had, like, one episode last week. So when I caught up on my, you know, TV watching, I had two episodes to watch at the same time. And it's looking really good. I mean, this year hasn't been so great when it comes to TV. I think the most exciting thing I've watched this year so far is Billions. The Game of Thrones, this particular season... The new one hasn't really been exciting. I don't know about you. Like, it's just been dragging. I mean, of course, Jon Snow coming back to life was very exciting. And Khaleesi also uh, doing the thing that she loves to do best was exciting as well. And it's a bit of both ends. I can't even... I don't know how you feel about it, but I haven't really, really felt like, oh, that was one episode. Or, Ugh. okay, when Odo died... Hold the door. Hold up. Yeah, when he died, I kind of felt bad. But then I thought... Why are we even following this stock? Like, why is it getting all so juju you know? Spiritual something, then going and seeing bitch. Ah, ugh, ugh, no. You know, for me, I wasn't really feeling that, you know? Uh, so many shows are coming back. Power is coming back in July. Hey! Tyrant is coming back in July. Hey! That's not what we're here to talk about, but... You see, I love to gist, you see, so I can just start from somewhere and go on and on and on. So this week, I'm going to be talking about something that I read in the papers, actually. A particular story caught my eye, and that's what I'll be talking about this week. There has been a very long debate about a classic case of struggling with a guy. So many people who have, from the get-go, being of the opinion that they cannot struggle with a man because they just are not cut out for it. I'm sorry, I beg. Do you understand? The guy should come correct if he does not have this story i have been there done that would you pay money for a guy would you be a breadwinner would you pay for rent would you do certain things if a guy had been supporting you all his life you know he was a rich guy maybe he was a bowler and he supported you and your family all his life and all of a sudden you know he got into an accident and he had to have his legs amputated would you pick up the bills or the famous oh if you know you earn more than the man and the man only has money for economy and you want to fly business, would you fly economy with him? Would you put him on business? All sorts of debates about the struggle. You know, I'm sure you've heard it before. There are people that believe that you have to struggle with a man, and struggling with a man is a sign that you're loyal. Some people believe that struggling is a sign that she's not a gold digger. You know, this is the girl that supported me. When you hear men say things like, oh, I only married her because when I was down, I didn't have anything, she supported me. You know, and I find that guys get very offensive when they have this argument, you know. When a guy hears that a babe is all about, you know, I beg go, I want a man to take care of me. All of a sudden, they start to look down on her and start to think as if, oh, she's a gold digger. This is not the kind of girl you want to end up with. This one cannot struggle with you. Like, there's a gold medal they give to people that struggle. Like, there's really a certificate that they give to you for struggling and saying, ah, my faithful servant, here you go because you struggled with a the guy. They are totally against women who don't believe in struggling. Some people were not raised that way. Some people were not raised to struggle. Some people watch their fathers do the heavy lifting in the house and they believe that they need to marry men who are like that. Some people don't believe in having to hustle. Eh? Struggle is not a sign that she's loyal. Please don't get it confused. Most of the people who are of the opinion that they would never struggle with men, if you find out they have been there 
and done that. They have been at the point where maybe they've given their all, they've struggled, and it did not end up, you know, the way they thought it would end up. So back to this story. It says, my fiancé disappeared with 580,000 naira. Uh, I'll summarize the story. So the girl is a prostitute. No judging at the end of the day. I don't think anybody wakes up in the morning and decides to be a prostitute. And um, she went to the police station to report a case of theft. And the person in question is her fiancé. Uh, they had been dating for a while. The guy met her on the job, knew she was a prostitute. The guy would even be there till she sees her last customers. The guy proposed to her but said he did not have money to pay her dowry so they couldn't do the wedding. Now, the poor girl now saved her 580,000 naira. Hard end because, yes, she was servicing men to make this money. As she said, do you know how many men she had to sleep with for her to get to 580k? And then she gave the guy, hey, you're broke, you don't have money. I'm the only one working right now. You say you love me. Here is 580k. Put it in the bank. When there's more money, I'll give to you. Then you can go and pay my bride price. And the guy absconded. So by the time she called the guy on the phone, she, the guy was like, basically, was she crazy to think that he was going to marry her? And what was so shocking was I talked about this on my radio show. And, you know, the guy that I work with and a lot of guys that I've shared this story with before I shot the vlog started laughing. And I thought, what is funny? You know, you guys are the ones that get defensive when... A woman does this. Some people are like, eh, but did she think the guy was going to marry her? He knew she was a prostitute. Oh, she should have known better. This was just carelessness on her part. It's so She's so silly. How can you give a guy the money that you're making from sleeping with other men and you think the guy will marry you? Um, I'm sorry. If you knew he was not going to marry her, why was he even there? Why did he propose to her? Do you understand? I don't think anybody wakes up in the morning and decides to be a prostitute. And I feel like, guys, this double standard thing, this only agreeing when it suits you it has to stop you're saying she's a prostitute let me now play it out to you imagine you as a guy you know you meet a girl not educated you want your wife to go to school you want her to be educated and then you use your hard-earned salary to send her to school by second year in the university she meets with this nice guy who comes from a good home or a nice guy who has his own money and they fall in love and she's looking at you thinking well now that i'm educated you're not my standard I'm sorry, it's the same thing. It really has to stop. When it's females, people look at it and think, oh, she should have known better. What kind of stupidity is that? She was just being ignorant. Why would she think the man will marry her? It's okay for you guys to say this when it's a woman. But when the case is reversed, when it's you who had to do the heavy lifting and the woman that wants to dump your ass because you're not lifting anything anymore, then she's the daughter of Jezebel. Then she's a harlot. Then she's going to hell. Then she's a witch and I don't want your progress. It's easier said than done. Men want you to be a ride or die chick. They want you to suffer with them. They want you to take the bus with them. They want you to understand when they don't have money. They act as if there is a reward that is given to women who support men. They act as if, if she says she cannot ride with you when you're broke, she shouldn't be with you when you're rich. Like, honey, go and work hard. Do you understand? Go and face your business and work hard. Nobody wants to be with anyone that is broke. Forget what that girl is telling you. Do you know how many women have put their life savings on the line for men? Do you know how many women have sacrificed their time, their age? Do you know how many women have put aside their own desires and things they want for themselves to support a man? And who is it? What did they get at the end of the day? Sit down with most of those women and ask them. It's not all of them that can tell you the successful story of, ah, I met this man when he did not have anything and I took a chance on him and the man now became something. A woman who is taking a chance, she can already see that you're going to become something. The guy's drive. The guy himself, it's not about the woman. The guy himself rejects poverty. Have you seen her here with somebody that you know he's going to be great? You know because the guy himself is not happy about the situation. So many of these young dudes and young lads, they're comfortable being poor. They're comfortable doing nothing. They're comfortable riding off the backs of women. They're comfortable using emotional blackmail, lying down there, doing nothing with your life, just making mouth about how... Women that don't support men are gold diggers and don't deserve to ride with you in the limo. A guy who is hustling, when you even talk to the guy, you can see his future. Have you seen how you talk about, you sit around someone and the person is talking about their dreams and you're like, I want to be in this person's life when they achieve that. Because you can see it, you can feel it, you can taste it. This person is not okay with the level they find themselves in. Look at this girl now crying at the police station. Over one stupid man promised her marriage and the man now disappointed her. Eh? The man had the God to pick up the phone and say that she, he, she was his mogul and everything she had, he was spending. And guess what? People would turn a deaf ear and think, ah, the girl should have been smarter. 
guys will laugh and think come on chill do you expect him to marry a prostitute someone actually said that to me you proposed to her so all of that proposal was a lie ladies shine yeah i well that's all i'm going to talk to you guys about this week remember if you're going to support someone if you're going to hustle and ride that bus know that as the guy is riding the bus he's cleaning his sweat saying one day one day i'm putting things in order i know that this is not going to be the end of me when you're with somebody like that it encourages you to want to support them it encourages you to want to be the woman that is like you know what i will hold my man down because i know he's going somewhere i can't wait for him to get to where he's going and as he has supports him i've talked about this so many times be very smart not all of these men have good intentions. Some of them are there with you because they are comfortable with being with you now as they have none. You have. He does not have. You're willing to share. He can stay there because he believes that, oh, she's the kind of person that would carry me. Once the guy now has and he feels as if he has swagger and people are checking him out on the street, it might not be the same story, boo-boo. Don't be like this girl. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome -tastic. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow me on Twitter. I am a toaster with a double R. Until I come your way again, we'll chat on the next episode of Talk and Moments.